Sub D can seem intimidating, but in fact it's easier than you think. It's all about how you approach it. So in this video we will take this scope model, split it into parts and then remodel the most complex part of it using Sub D. Let's go. So let's look at this scope here. This is the one created with N-Gons. This is an N-Gon based mesh. And I sort of um, moved all the parts of, you know, away from one another so you can see how simple this really is. The most complicated piece is this one, which, you know, it's a lot of, it's a combination of a lot of shapes, but to be honest, they're not even merged together. So I went a laser route and I simply control J them. So this is really simple modeling, okay? It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Now, if you're a beginner, you can still follow and probably learn a few things, but uh, I would highly recommend you grab our free course, which is called Jumpstart Hard Service in Blender. The link is in the video description, so go ahead and get it. It will teach you everything you need to know for hard surface, all the basics, all the foundations, the tools, the menus, how to model, how to render in just a few hours. And it's the best way of learning Blender, you know, the fastest one, in my opinion, and the easiest one as well. Over 80,000 people have snatched this course and they absolutely love it. So like I said, the link is in the video description. Go ahead and get it. Now, if I'm going to go to sub D version, now this requires a little bit more work. Uh, so for example, this one is one piece. Okay, this is one piece combined together. And, uh, you know, um, everything is uh, simply connected. And then you have all these pieces uh, separately here. So like this, uh, the gear here is separate as well. This one is separate as well. This hood is separate, okay? So these are all separate parts. So is this one, right? So if you break it down into smaller part, the lens is separate as well here, I think. Yeah, there you go. So if you break it down to smaller parts, this is a really simple design. It's just cylinders. And the only problematic part is this one. And maybe this one could cause some confusion because this is also sub D. It's quite dense because you have really small details. But the most complicated one is this one, okay? And the reason why it's complicated is because we're combining two cylinders together and we need to make sure that the shading holds. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually try to recreate it. So I'm going to show you how, you know, it's done. So I'm going to grab a cylinder here and we're going to grab 36 uh, verts. So not 32, but 36. Okay, so increase of 36. And we're going to scale this, apply scale here. And now what we need to do, we need to, um, let me just enable it again. Let me just copy this. We need to flatten the bottom, right? And that's really easy, guys. We go to the front view, go to verts, deselect, go to occlude with machine tools B. Select the bottom ones, Alt-A with machine tools to flatten it and clean mesh with hard ups done. Another thing we need is not a cylinder, so we're going to grab it, RY, I'm going to scale it down and move it somewhere here. I'm going to ex extend it a little bit here and drop it down because it's, you know, it's too high. And we're going to apply scale. Now, when you match these two, try to match them by edges as closely as you can it's not gonna be easy in here you know but let me see um, i suppose something like this will do right is it not too small could be a little bit bigger there we go something like this um rx and you know something like this right so we got these edges more or less matching. It's going to be easier to combine them together. What you also could consider doing is uh, dropping some securing loops here uh, or even just, you know, running topology like this. So, you know, running loops like that. Um, or what we could do is actually create one loop here in the middle. So let's go back and let me just remove this and uh, I'm gonna create loop in here, a loop in here, and I'm gonna grab a knife, okay, press C, and I'm gonna actually run a loop here like this, okay, all around this cylinder here. It's not gonna be super perfect, but it's going to be, you know, kind of cutting all around here. I don't know how many verts I need there, I'm not worried about it right now. And boom, right? Awesome. 
So we got this loop going around, and honestly, we are kind of ready to, to combine them. What we could do is run some loops here, like this, to have some edges to connect to, and operations, and uh, not smart apply operations, and uh, booleans and union, and then smart apply, okay? And shift two, right? So now we got these two shapes combined. What I can do now is grab this loop and GG and kind of move it closer, press E and kind of move it closer and it's going to match really nicely um, the shape here outside, which is really cool. So this one really contains nicely shading on this cylinder. Now what we need to fix is we need to fix these, right? So um, here in the middle, we probably need the one edge. So let's move it in here and and combine it. And then this edge can go away. And then this edge here, this edge could be moved in here. So boom, and this edge could be removed. This edge could be moved in here and combined and so it could be this one uh, maybe like this or yeah i think this is going to do or we could just run an edge here like that a triangle i mean we're gonna be removing this anyway so just let's wait and see what happens what we could do is move this vert a bit here and run a loop like this and remove this one it's gonna be a quad this one's gonna have to be moved anyway up here like this um, to sort of accommodate this edge here then this loop definitely here so boom combine it this one definitely here right and this one here this one here uh, this one here and this one here, right? This one could be actually, yeah, this one needs to go down. I'll tell you why, because this edge supports the flat surface of this face. It's the end of the cylinder, so we can't move this edge, okay? So you gotta be careful which edges you're moving. Now I'll take to the other side, and you know, we don't even have to do the other side, but we probably should, so let's do it very quickly. So let's go from the top, it's gonna be easier. So here, shift one move this one move this one this one here uh, we can move this one here this one here and then again the same situation so we could just run a knife here like this uh, remove the size to create a quad this one could go here and this one this one could go here so again same situation right we could just you know run it like this here and we're gonna have triangles here, but it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, these are small triangles, and remember, the as long as they support the curvature, so the curvature doesn't break them or bend them, you're fine, okay? So, also, triangles could be connected together like this. It's really easy. Grab them, boom, quads. See what I mean? No problem. So, uh, this one here, this one probably here would be better, but then we have this end gone. So we could probably do this and uh, this one here. We could just keep a quad here because reasons. This one going down, this one definitely goes down. And Bob Junko and then I'll take to the side. And this one should be going outside like this. And then what we need to do is um, make sure that everything is clean. Click out click here. So click out click with mesh machine. So we can select the loop. And we're gonna run a bevel now when you run the bevel what you can do is you can disable the loop slide which would kind of tidy up all these slides here and create a bit more of an easy sort of like a uh, really even and easy going you know the loop around this um, bevel this uh, this connection and that's really important because this connection is quite you know quite delicate right we can actually merge these here so gg and slide them down and press 3 to clean them so we can get rid of this loop here and we could run a loop here around like this from these triangles right so we can get rid of these two and we got ourselves uh quads there are two triangles in here but like i told you before 
you can connect triangles very easily into quads uh, this one is a little bit problematic move it up here and i think this should do i'll take this to the other side so that's a bit more relaxed here in the back let's see what's happening uh, we probably don't really need this loop so let's just select it gg slide it down plus three then grab um grab these edges whoa grab these edges here dissolve this one i'll text boom and the rest is fine and now the moment of truth control 2 shade smooth and we got some booboo in here well, let's see what the hell is going on here these are not connected fair enough so here j j just move it in here my bad i didn't see that so let's just run another loop here and connect it j and j and the same here um, i'm not gonna be doing this properly guys because it's not the point of this tooth the point of this tooth was to create connection between these two points but yeah you need to combine these two here otherwise it's not gonna work but this all will need to be tidied up there we go so it's connected now and also what we need is most likely uh, chamfers here on these on these edges here this one and probably this one so control control b and then press p for um for the angle and a to scale it down and then alt x to the other side and you peachy so let's see the connection how it looks looks really clean see because we have enough topology to support this and of course it's a bit of a pig so we, we need to you know organize it now and now the way to organize it minus this bottom uh, disaster because this is just a temporary sh you know shitstorm but if i was doing it properly right uh so here we're gonna run a loop like this and we're gonna run it down so here we should have press c a and just cut it so here we would remove this edge and we would just run edges like this okay so they're going to be gradually sort of fading um sort of um, kind of a gradually changing shape from a straight one to a kind of a curved one here the same on the other side and you know make sure that they more or less even right they you know the topology here so just uh, try to even them out like this for example here and let me just hide this for a second there you go so what i would do here is you know grab these and sort of space them a little bit better or yeah like move this one a little bit to the to the right this one a little bit to the left you know to create a bit more of an even uh even quads on top so it looks now really nice and neat same here i'll just nuke this rubbish and then simply introduce like you know two loops in here round into the bottom and then solve this problem here in the bottom right so make it really nice and and clean because at the moment this is a fucking disaster uh, so what I would probably do is grab these verts here, grab these verts like this, go to loop tools and maybe space them. This should work more or less. Actually, we could dissolve them and use these um, as points. So okay, so K, C, and then A, and just run one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna press A to ease off the angle and start you know going at an angle here connect to this one and do something like this okay so this will be the proper way of doing this all right and then uh, dissolve this this fiasco right and then we have uh ca one two three and four and then we have loops going here we need one, two, three, so we can connect these, right? Then we can kind of, you know, sort of align them better here like this, right? And then connect these, and connect these, right? 
So this would be one way of doing this. And then we need loops here. So one, two, three. We could actually make four in here. So hang on. Make four loops and one of them is going to be going here. And the rest is going to be connecting here. So this would probably be going like this, right? So we would be dissolving this rubbish. Okay. And here too. Just align them and combine them and combine them and then we would just simply you know fix this so i don't know relax them or something you could just use relax or whatever the hell you want to kind of you know create a better flow here the relax would be actually good to uh, this feature to assign to some key uh, relax them here as well boom right so you know this would be a decent I would say decent topology for this uh, for this situation, and then of course because you know we, we need to consider we're gonna have more details. So for example here we're gonna need more details on the bottom, so we can create these elements which are really easy. Um, you just simply you know extrude it down and then create secure loops. So you do that, and then you uh, boundary loops, and then you do this, and then you just add loops here and Bob John Colin, then you. You know it needs to be cut and adjusted of course and then you create circles here so cuts on both sides with hard ups connect them and you know you're done so this is really easy right the rest is really easy guys right the the the, the biggest problem was to solve this connection and the rest is just you know a joke so when you're creating something more complicated all you need to do is basically look at the model and see what kind of elements like basic elements basic shapes you see okay and then you know if you for example it's a scope and you it's a circular one you, you know that you're gonna have a lot of easy things to create like these these are really piss easy right and you got two a bit more complicated ones and the rest is just a joke and it takes a lot of time because sub d takes time but it's not you know that complicated this one is a bit more difficult if you guys want me show you to show you how to create this one let me know uh, i'm gonna make a video on that but other than that, I think you should be good to go and uh, be able to, you know, continue with this scope. So this is for this one. Thanks for watching. Like I said in the beginning, there's a free tool for you guys called Jumpstart Hard Surface in Blender. So if you need to Blender and you want to learn hard surface in Blender, this is the best way to go about it. It's the fastest and easiest way to learn it. It's going to take you a few hours to go through the course and we'll give you all the basics, all the tools, menus, hard surface, foundations, everything you need to get started. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.